Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Daycare Success TV, where I am your host, Andrea Dickerson. Today, I am going to be talking about this new exciting ebook that has just hit the market. It has hit the market everywhere, and I'm so excited. The title of the ebook is How I Did It Daycare Success. And I wanted to create this movie clip so that you guys can get a preview of what's to come in this ebook. You know, this ebook was created for the busy daycare owner and director or for the early childhood professional or for the one who's getting ready to start up but want to start up successfully. This ebook is has so much content that you don't want to pass it up. It is like an ebook of no other. It will begin to talk to you about my journey and my story on what I did to become a successful childcare business owner. You know, success doesn't just happen, but it comes from proper preparation. And this journey will talk to you about all the steps that I succeeded in, as well as the steps that I failed in, that ultimately helped me discover how to run the ultimate successful child care business. My first child care center was named Humble Beginnings Learning Center. And how did I know that that would be my humble beginning? And as you continue to look at this movie clip, you're going to see how I went from a humble beginning to a successful enterprise and I'm so excited about that you know when I first started in child care I had no idea all I had was opportunity passions and dreams and you know what I took my opportunities my passions and my dreams of working with children enjoying to work with children and I wanted to turn it into something successful I knew a lot about what parents were looking for, but I really didn't know how to get my story or how to get what I offered into the hands of the parents. And along my journey, I found myself in situations that were beyond my control. You know, I had a little boy. And within eight days, I had to take my newborn back into my child care facility with me because I did not properly prepare myself. I knew nothing about delegating authority. And you know what? That center could not run without my presence. So here we are, an eight-day-old baby and myself after a crucial uh, surgery for the delivery I am back in the child care facility you know I really wasn't ready to enter back in my body wasn't healed and my baby was only eight days old but I learned so don't have pity on me I learned from that I learned so much to I put it in this book on how you can go about delegating your authority so that your business can function without you actually working in the business but you can begin to work on the business. You know, so after the first center, Humble Beginnings Learning Center, I found myself at home with my son. And while I was home, about seven months within my journey, I received a phone call from my sister. And she talked to me about how uh, my services were great and how she had people asking her about me. And that was one of the taunting days of my career. Why was it taunting? Because by having my sister call me, that made me dream again. That made me hope again. That made me believe again. And you know, after failure in so many areas, sometimes it's hard to get back up. I didn't want to get back up. I wanted to stay right where I was. But you know what? Sometimes you got to have the tenacity to endure hardness as a good soldier. And after about a few weeks of complete meditation and thinking about it, I bounced back. I bounced back and you know what? I got started. I got started looking for ways to finance my dream all over again. And this time I wanted to start out and do it right. And I was actually given the opportunity to. After taking hold of that opportunity, I found myself starting over again in my home. And the name of my center was Kingdom Kids Christian Learning Center. Well, don't despise small beginnings. That small beginning group from three children to six children, from six children to 16, from 16 to way up in the 20s. And you know what? God opened up doors for me tremendously. 
I had so many successes in that smaller location than I could have ever dreamed of in that in my larger location. But over time, opportunity presented itself, and I knew that I was destined to run a large facility. I had the dreams and the passion to do so. And I set out on my journey. I began to look for ways on how to take my vision to the next level. And lo and behold, opportunity came. My husband and I, we began to operate and run a larger child care facility. The book will give you so much detail on how I went from a large facility to a family and group center back into a large facility. I learned so much about what to do different. Check out this front entrance. You see what I did before? Now look what I learned how to do after. Even the restrooms. I'll talk to you so much about your layout. Check out these restrooms. Now look what I learned to do differently. I'll talk to you so much in this book about your classroom setups. This is the classroom I set up when I first got started. Now look, this is what it looks like now. I am able to teach you how to take your child care business and set up steps to run an efficient and organized daycare center. And by doing so, you will relieve yourself to make more income by generating other streams. I generated another stream of income. I took my child care services out to the people and I created my next empire. Kids care everywhere. Well, you know what? Now it's your time to take a look at what this book has in store. You will receive tools and lists and all type of information to really push you into running a successful child care business. Visit www.daycaresuccess.com to order your copy today. 